Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video I'd like to show you how to put together a car. I've actually put this together into a model. You can see all the elements in my future manager tree over here. Let me show you how I did it. I started on the top sketch, and what I'm thinking about is putting uh, this sketch and uh, all the elements. I'm going to put the origin right there in the middle of the car. Uh, as opposed to the previous video where I put the origin on the bottom of the car, I'm actually going to put it in the middle here, and there's a reason why I want to do that. Uh, I can uh, use the planes uh, both in the front and the back when I do that in order to, uh, well, the front and the, the side in order to cut out the windows and some of the other features. But it, I am trying to maintain the symmetry as best I can in this thing in order to get this model to put together right. So the first thing I did is I created a box, kind of a rectangle in here on the top plane in order to define uh, the boundaries of where that car is going to fit into. So I started with the top sketch. There's no features associated with that top sketch. I just have that uh, drawn in there. And then from there I went ahead and did the front sketch. With that front sketch I have a sketch picture and on that sketch picture if I were to right click on that and make edits to it uh, what I have in that sketch picture are splines. So this I hand drew as opposed to doing an auto trace. You can do it uh, either way. But what I did is I drew it on one side, I sketched it on one side and then I mirrored it onto the other side. So that seemed to work out pretty good because one thing you have to keep in mind about your sketch pictures is you want to be able to get as far away from your object as possible and uh, be able to take these pictures in a telephoto uh, lens if you can in order to get these lines to be parallel to each other because right now I'm, I'm way too close to the car and uh, the lines of the car are not parallel and I mean you can just see that they're not as you uh, as you know as the closer you get to the car the, the more of an angle that does lines that should be parallel on the side of the car for instance uh, become more angular so you do want to get as far away from the car as, as possible because what you want to do with your sketch images, your sketch pictures is you want to make an integration between one picture and another. You want to make sure that the, you know, the, the front picture is integrated to the, to the right picture and so on and so forth so that they match up as best we can. In other words, the tires that are down here, which you can just barely see the shadow of them, you want to make sure that uh, you know, that portion of the car where the bottom of the tire is going to be is going to be consistent uh, with uh, the right view which is actually going to show the tire and of course the same thing with the top of the car too you want to make sure that the top of the car in the front view and the bottom of the, the fenders of the car in, in the front are also going to be consist, uh, coincident with uh, those very same elements on the right view or even the back view and again it's hard to do that if you have a very close perspective here it kind of distorts it and it makes it difficult to do so I think I've belabored that enough there's our front sketch let's go ahead and rebuild that Let's go to our right sketch and take a look at that. So you can see the sketch picture that's associated with that. So there's the front of the car. If we rotate that, here's the side of the car. Now the desire here is to try to match these pictures up as best I could. I just put in the front image first and didn't do a whole lot of work on it. But the real uh, meat and potatoes here is going to be the right image. I did the same thing on this image that I did uh, in the previous video where I set up my reference geometry. I have my 8 foot 4 inch uh, uh, distance between the wheels. I put in the wheel diameter in there, 2 foot 4 inches or 26 inches on, on the maximum on that. I believe it was 24 inches for these wheels, so that, that still works. Um, and once I did that, I defined the geometry to where the origin is, so uh, it's 1 foot 6 inches down from the center of that to that line, which defines uh, where the center of the wheelbase is going to be. At least I think I did that. If not, we can take that out and put in a new dimension in there. But it's actually this center line here, the bat line. And that works out. That fully defines the elements that we really want to fully define. We don't want to fully define uh, the splines. So once I had this image put in place and I scaled it just like I did in the, in the other video, then I went back to the front view and I scaled this image up in order to make sure that the top of the car is coincident with the top of the car in the right image. And the bottom of the car down here, where the fender comes in on, on the bottom front, the flange in the front, that's also coincident with the bottom of the car there. Now, again, it's not perfect because the, the perspective in the images is really close, but it's reasonable. So, let's go ahead and rebuild that and uh, keep moving down our future manager tree. I have a rear sketch. So, on that rear sketch, what it is uh, eventually later as I put some uh, features that are endemic to the rear of the car rather than the front of the car. And eventually I did my side extru extrude. So I took the, the sketch elements, which are mostly the splines, and I extruded that. And I got a basic extrude of the car. So from the front, doesn't look very good. 
from the side it actually looks fairly well so we're going to use that front image and uh, go ahead and sculpt around that and cut out these areas in regard to what we see in the, on that side extrude now some people would, uh, would advocate the use of uh, curves and surfaces here and I probably would too if you want a uh, more of an accurate model but not everybody who uses SOLIDWORKS knows curves and surfaces and what this does is it gives a reasonable and very quick way of getting together a, uh, a decent model of a car relatively quickly so from the side extrude I did my wheel wells and I mirrored, the, mirrored those wheel wells from one side to the other that might be helpful if I turn off my sketches so I'm going to go ahead and do that you can see how that looks and I'll just keep moving down and put in an axle in there using the geometry that's already in there my rear light cavity this is where I did my um, uh, borrowed that geometry from that uh, rear sketch and then I put in my rear light if you want to see how I did that if you go to the rear light cavity let's go ahead and uh, click on uh, on that and what I had were some sketch elements associated with um, with that image uh, let's go ahead and turn those images on just real quick so you can see what they look like I took those and I did an offset from surface so what it is I didn't extrude on that or extrude cut went to that surface reverse the direction and it goes uh, starts from that surface and just goes one inch deep on that so from there I did the front cut and what that's going to do is it's going to sculpt out the car so remember what I was saying before we took the the sketch elements from the front here and then we use that as a cut so we cut to the outside of that and cut everything on the outside of the car so now it looks fairly reasonable from the front and from the side let's go ahead and put in our tires and let's go ahead and turn off our sketches again just so we can see what we're doing a little bit better once we put in our tires we put in our tire fillet just uh, again a real crude and fast model we mirrored the tire to the other side did some window cuts and this is important uh, because we have a plane that goes right down the middle of that we can draw on that plane, sketch in that plane and we borrowed some of the sketch elements from our uh, right uh, sketch that we had on top of our uh, future manager tree and we did our front window cut and we got these front window cuts from the, the front image cut out the seats a little bit on the inside another cut for the seats to so kind of add a little bit more uh, uh, material taken out did a front light cavity just like we did in the back and ultimately what I did is I created a mate plane and the way that mate plane is uh, defined we go to edit feature there's a point in the very bottom of the sketch that I use for one of the wheel wells right there in the middle of the car I defined that with a horizontal plane since I made uh, what defined the wheels here on the horizontal line and the distance between those uh, by just using that point and copying the top plane at that point down to the bottom what I've done is I created a mating plane so when I eventually put this into my garage model all I had to do was take the, the, the slab of that model or the slab of the driveway that approaches that model and just mated that uh, mate plane to the surface that defines the surface I want to put the car on and that worked out pretty well so I think that's the end of this series of uh, films and this video too and I hope you will join me for other ones